I feel like I am always starting these vlogs in the car because a lot of stuff just happens on the go. So this morning I'm actually downtown Hamilton. I am on the street I used to live on King Street West in my brick loft apartment. That's where it was. But today I'm actually at this shop, this boutique clothing shop. It's so cute. It's called Love La Vie and I've been doing some work with them and I'll show you around the shop too because this place is so beautiful and the clothing that they have in there as well is like so on point and then maybe I'll get, maybe I'll introduce you to Krista as well. She's like the owner and tell you about a couple of the new in fall things at Love La Vie because even if you don't live downtown Hamilton or close to Hamilton where you can like go over to see it, um, she just has such good inspiration for like what to find for fall. So. Let's do that. I have a meeting with her this morning at 10. It is now 9.54 and I skipped my morning coffee because the drive through is just like way too long. So I'm really hoping that I can make it to this meeting without too many odds. Can you relate on a Tuesday? <laughs> Look at this angel. <laughs> okay, but see this energy that I'm dealing with here? This is why I'm so excited for all of these things to come. But look at this shop. There you have like absolutely everything. And um, yeah, I'll get Krista to show you a couple of the really cool things that they just came in. They have some really amazing brands like Madison and Mavi and just so many jeans. And I saw on their Instagram the other day actually that they had some gals come in and they had like a private shopping party. So that is also so fun. We also just came up with some like amazing ideas for store content. But anyways, I will leave their handle right here. Look, you're already touching, <laughs> already touching your turtleneck. Um, this is Love Lovey's handle on Instagram. Go follow them. So many amazing things. And Riley's gonna show me a couple of them because they get new things all the time. So what's new? What's new? Okay, we have these beautiful, chunky knit turtleneck. I was staring at this our entire meeting. It's so cute. I'm obsessed with yeah. Um, and this is a great way too for someone like me. I mean, I'm wearing a bit of color today, but normally I'm in muted colors. Yeah. This has a ton of color in it, but it's still muted and. And you're petite. Do you think that would work with leggings, um, maybe belted? Yeah. So I did try this on with a legging and with a denim, and I just kind of like styled the bottom of it. Oh. And then it blends in really lovely with like all of these beautiful, like rich tones that we have for fall in right now as well. What um, is the denim scene like? I feel like you guys have a lot of denim. Denim, we're getting in lots of our wider leg um, denim. And we still have our classic skinny styles, but we are getting in lots of these more flared wide leg. And then of course we have like the in-between Krista's kind of actually wearing yeah, a pair today that I'm obsessed with. Yeah. Look at her over there. They're so cute. I think she's wearing these. They're so cute. And then so many long sweaters. Sweaters. So many good layers. I went through a phase for a little bit where I had a few of these and then I was just like, I don't like them anymore, I don't want to have them and now I'm back in the phase of like, this is the best thing I could yeah. have in my wardrobe. Editing days, layers. The best layering piece. Yeah, 100%. It can be a jacket, it can be a sweater. 100%. And also this thing has caught my eye. I know this. exactly where you're going for it. Yes. <laughs> look at this, look at this jacket. It's different though, it's not like a wooly jacket, it's super soft. And we have this in like a bubblegum pink. <gasps> oh, and for all of you leopard lovers. So yes, look at this amazing store. Animal print is a neutral. Animal print is a neutral. <laughs> Guys, that was like the best meeting. Those gals are just so full of energy. I love hanging out with them. I love, I love being with people who have like big ideas and then they're willing to do the work to create a system to make it work. And those gals are 100% on that level. Honestly, the amount of things that they're doing behind the scenes, not even with the store, is so freaking impressive. And the store is so cute right now. They get shipments all of the time. So I know I'm working with them now, but honestly, 
as just a general fashion style lover, like you gotta go check out that shop. Anyways, I have to jet because I have so many other things to do, including making a content calendar for them, like doing a bunch of the work that we were talking about that now I'm gonna be responsible for, which I'm very excited about and new beginnings and all of these things. But what I wanna say is it's so funny doing a Vlogtober because on day to day, Sometimes you just think that your day is so mundane and not a lot of things are happening, but then sometimes I'll think at the end of the day, oh shoot, I wish I vlogged that day because it's actually quite interesting and things were happening and I met new people and I had great conversations and I wish I was just able to capture it. So I'm happy that we are now on this vibe. Now today as well, I've got to go drop off this this card and these two SD cards to my friend Rachel or better known as Ray in the photography industry and that is because I shot a wedding for her the other day it was kind of like a wedding redo um, I can't show you the photos from that just yet but I just changed over one of my accounts that I was kind of parking for a little bit to Amanda Weldon photography on Instagram so that I can just kind of like host a little bit more of my photography work there and build a portfolio um, and hopefully when Ray is able to send over those first looks to the couple, then I'll be able to post a couple of those there. So I know there are a couple of shots from that that I was like so sweet swooning over and I can't wait for you to see them. So let's go to bed. I just got home to this guy. <laughs> that was really cool. And to these, cause it's our three year anniversary today. Um, so hopefully we can, give me a sweet girl. <laughs> hopefully we can go out to dinner, do something fun. This week, Scotty and I are also heading up to his family cottage because his uncles are coming from England, which we are so excited to see them. They were supposed to come last summer and obviously you know the plot of that story. Um, and then today I am going to be finishing up all the stuff that we talked about in that meeting. I just had such a great chat with Ray as well. Um, I'll link her photography down below. She is one of the most amazing photographers that I know that I've seen and that I've had the pleasure of working with and um, training under her for quite a few events has been really amazing and definitely has made me into the photographer that I am today. So Ray, thank you for that. Um, last but not least, we made these empanadas last night and I am so stoked. I am so hungry. I've only had an apple crisp macchiato today, Babe. which Scott is not pleased to hear. Um, and it is one o'clock. So lunch, snug that rosy girl, get to work. Just got a little blogger mail. It's from Rex Bar. And I've heard of these before, if you recognize this packaging. But we didn't expect this to come, but I feel, oh, this will be really good for stretching. Look, good, I need it's it. like a stretching band. Oh, that is so nice. Thanks, guys. And there's like a bunch of other stuff in here. Ooh, these weights. Put those on. The house, in the house. Oh, I'm excited to try these. This one, I think, will be our favorite. Peanut butter chocolate. Peanut butter chocolate. Shoddy. Bana <laughs> Scotty just said shoddy. Scotty shoddy. Banana chocolate walnut. Blueberry. And chocolate coconut. Ooh, I think I'll like that. And a beautiful water bottle as well. And Scotty and I have a water bottle with us. Obsession. All the time. So that is wonderful. Thanks, guys. <laughs> We've got Ethan, we've got Francis. Hello. And we are out in the wild, and you've definitely seen Francis before. There he is. What an What's angel. Up? <laughs> oh, God. Um, and we got to this really cool flower farm. I will put the location 
down in the description box. And we're just gonna go around. Francis really wanted to get some shots with the fog earlier, but as you know, from working at the Weather Network, inversion will burn off during the day, during sunlight. So Francis, that's an early morning and late evening thing. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's called inversion. Oh my God, I learned something new today. <laughs> <laughs> but they've got I some- I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> That's why, you tell me? that's why as well in the mountains, they have like really amazing inversion. I don't know. Annoying, Anyways, yeah. you guys do not care about this. <laughs> I care, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, thanks guys. It helps me do my job. <laughs> um, they got some dahlias over there, which is great. But I think what we're gonna go for is like some really cool editorial out in the wild to bring some of those greens down into like yellows, make it feel really fall. And I wore some orange and I brought also brought some other outfits. So we'll do a couple of behind the scenes and we'll see how, what happens. And then as well, we have these mirrors, which I know Francis and I have been talking that we've wanted to do for a while, so. Let's go! Unless it's like impossible to carry. Do you wanna put something in my bucket? Yes. <laughs> Thanks. I had a feeling you'd come this is the first locale. We've got some nice purples and yellows that we're gonna take advantage of here. And I feel misplaced without you. Why don't we the stress? Cool. So basically, Ethan's idea was to have the mirror there and have it reflecting out into this field. If you guys ever do shoots like this where you're just trying to get a bunch of content in one go, I highly recommend giving yourself time and just trying things. Like we, that mirror stuff, it you obviously have an idea of what you want in your mind, but we just tried a bunch of stuff and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's digital, it's not a big deal. Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to your bedroom? Okay, we are done with that field and now we're gonna go do stuff on the road and if you notice, I hope it change. I'm just shooting away over there. What's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> okay, Francis, from one photographer to another, because I can officially say that I'm one now, what is your top tip when going to a photo shoot? As a photographer. Oh man, can, I, can we do this one more time? I gotta think about it. <laughs> okay, Ethan, you go first. Just have fun, honestly. Yeah. Don't overthink it. Yeah, that's such a good tip. And just communicate, like almost over communicate with whoever you're shooting with and tell them that they're beautiful and smiling so great. And if they won't smile, meow at them. <laughs> right, Francis? Yup, I meow all the time. <laughs> Sing the meow mix song. Um, okay, let me ask you a different question. What is your favorite type of shoot to do? Honestly? Oh man, I don't really have a favorite. Like Yeah, uh, you're like a jack of all trades. Yeah. Um I I I love meeting new people, but like I think overall what I will eventually wanna do is I wanna capture a story. Like um, Oh yeah. Like uh like actually Ethan just did an amazing thing that I've wanted to do for a long time. What'd he do? Um he just shot this uh, wood spinner out of Hamilton and made an amazing beautiful story out of it. I'll put a little picture of Ethan's yeah. feed right here, and this is the photo that we're talking about, slash it's also a video thing. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's kind that. of what I want to do, but eventually, when I have more time. Even though it's not words, photography is all about storytelling, and if you are doing a photo shoot, highly recommend have it make sense. Mm -hmm. Like be somewhere, wearing something, doing something that makes sense, and then your photo will <laughs> look a lot better. And I think we've all made the mistake before where we're doing something so random in the most random like yeah, planning set of is things. everything. Planning is everything. Yeah. Although today is a very little planning. Yeah. Francis but. literally called or sent a message to me and Ethan like <laughs> 15 minutes yeah. before we hit the road. He's yeah. like, hey what are you doing? Are you busy? And we're both so busy and we're like, we've got time for you. Well, you know what we wanted to do this for a while. So yeah. technically there was a little bit of planning. It's true. But when our vibes are always the same, like yeah, when we are just so like-minded in terms of what we want to create, it just, it just comes along even without as much planning. And then last but not least, create with people you like. I know I said that earlier in another video, but it's so true. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good part of the vlog. <laughs> so last winter I fell in. That's a wrap, guys. Oh man, that was so fun. <laughs> I don't know. You're so cute. <laughs> that was so fun. I did not pay him to say that. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I get so awkward. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, angels. I just got home, and this room is an absolute disaster. <laughs> like clothes everywhere, just from literally dumping my fall buckets out to make the swap. 
that was so much fun with Francis. I always love shooting with him because he's just so positive and loves to do like anything, like up for anything suggestions wise. Let me turn on this light. Get some warmth behind me. Um, I want to close out this vlog here and the reason why is because today is actually me and Scotty's three year anniversary and so tonight instead of going out to a restaurant because I've been out all day and actually tomorrow we're going out to a restaurant because Scotty's uncles are visiting from the UK and we're gonna go out um, and enjoy some time together and we're gonna go to my parents and it's gonna be really really cute but maybe I'll bring you along for that as well. I'll think about it. <laughs> But I want to close it out here because it's always so nice to completely log off and just enjoy some of those simple moments together without feeling like you're creating them in a performative way. I think you know what I mean, right? Um, so moving forward, I want to start doing some more vlogs just like this, showing you some behind the scenes. Let me know if you like them. At that meeting this morning, we had an awesome chat and I'm gonna be doing some styling videos over there, which I think will not only give us the possibility to do more styling videos where it's not things that I'm necessarily buying or taking in. It's more just like as an inspiration piece. So I think that will be so fun. And besides that, I hope that you've been enjoying the videos so far and that you also find a moment just to yourself because I feel like work has been an absolute avalanche lately, but in the best way. And no complaints here. I just need to like clone myself. <laughs> we all feel that way. I'm sending you so much love and we shall see you in the next one. Bye guys.